This is a brief overview of the new 3D Kitchen design software QT version. Existing users will find the transition from the current version to this new one a very simple one as the general layout and concepts are very similar except that the interface has been updated. New users will find learning the program also very fast and very easy as all of the design is done from this one window and the operations are learnt very quickly. Normally when we're adding a new design we start with walls but this time we're just going to start adding cabinets to show you the general concepts involved. We're going to choose a corner cupboard and a three door cabinet. The cabinet can be panned and zoomed and viewed from any angle to sh ensure that you have the right object. You bring it in and drop it on the floor pan. Go back to the uh, cabinet library, choose a square shape. We're going to use a two door cabinet. Say OK to that. And again we just bring that in and it snaps to the previous object. Go back to the library again and this time we'll take a three drawer cabinet. Say OK and again it's obvious what object you're choosing. We'll add in one more object and that'll be a variable angled unit to show you the versatility of this style of unit. So we bring the unit in, this time it's a 45 degree angle two door cabinet and just drop it on the design. You can zoom in any part of the floor plan by just rolling the center mouse scroll button, right click on the object with the right mouse button and it brings up the specification dialog. We'll switch the dimensions on that are currently turned off so you can see all of the dimensions on the object. Now we're going to change the width to 900 millimeters and say OK to that and we'll change the angle from 45 degrees to 30 degrees and you'll see the measurements and angle change. Now we'll just change that back to standard any angle can be achieved and any dimensions can be achieved on any surface and once they're done they generate automatically through to cutting lists, costing and for those who have CNC machines the exact shaping and cutting information is sent through to the machine. We right click on any object to bring up its specifications, size and shape, its uh, general properties, its vertical position and angle and its uh, pattern which means what does the draw fronts and doors and finish panels look like. Every object is added in the same way so we can add the click on the plus sign and go to any category so we'll go to the appliance category choose the dryer option and again we can zoom and pan on this object to see it in high resolution and that's the way it will look once it's placed in the design. We can say OK to that and place it We'll just move through a couple of more categories. So we'll look at the wall oven category and you'll see that it's uh, very much the same. So the list of objects, we can zoom and view them so we can clearly see which kind of object we're adding. Go to the cooktop area and again we can rotate those. Uh, we can zoom and check them and make sure that's the correct one that we want. Say OK and add it in. It's very, very simple planning operation. The other thing that's of interest would be the group object area and that's an area where any group of objects can be combined together to make a single object. Now this is an oven tower example made up of appliances and cabinets. The cabinets behave together, they react together but they can be independently modified to get correct cutting and costing information depending on what kind of unit you want to put in your design. So again, all of this information translates straight through to your CNC machine. Uh, the most uh, interesting part about this is the new 3D rendering engine. So we open a design and to generate the 3D image from there, we just click on the 3D button at the top of the screen. This is happening in real time and you'll see the image pop up very quickly. Now it can be panned and zoomed by dragging it with the mouse in any direction and any angle you can view. You get a clear high resolution image. Objects can be any color and have any pattern style on them. Glass transparencies can be changed to achieve the transparency effect you want to achieve. When you move below the floor level the floor will automatically disappear for you 
and if you need to view from that aspect you'll still get a clear view of the design. When you move back up the floor will automatically reappear. This also happens for the ceiling. So you can get a, a very clear view from any aspect. Any time it can be stopped and viewed it can be printed. You can save the image to a very small PNG file which can be emailed to your customer or wherever you require. So these uh, design will go straight out for costing, cutting and CNC if required. So choose 3D Kitchen to take you to the next level in your business and visit us at 3dkitchen.com. I hope this has given you enough information to make an informed choice about where you need to go with your business and design software.